G'day guys, how are you? Now today I'm going to show you my first look at the Ubuntu Mate 15.04 Beta 2. So let's get to it. So I've installed it here in VirtualBox. If you want to know how to use VirtualBox, I have another video where I installed Windows 7. It's practically the same as Mate installing just a few different steps to get the drivers to work. Anyway, so let's have a look, shall we? Just make it full screen. So welcome to Ubuntu Mate 15.04 Beta 2. Um, there's a few extra things in here which I have had a quick look at, which I, I really do admire. Uh, just firstly, just here with the folder, I found that you can change the color of it. If I want to make it blue, it becomes blue. If I want to make it important, it's now important. It kind of looks like it's a broken link, doesn't it? But it gets your attention, and I guess that's what they want. Change the color and give it an Let's have a quick look at the terminal. By default, it has like a slightly uh, green effect to it. Um, works the same. You can see here too, there's a couple of different icons. Uh, there's a cross here. To make a large one. Personally, I like the transparent uh, effect that the terminal offers. Where is it? Let me see. It should be, there we go, transparent. I like the transparent one, just quickly. I do. Let's try and keep it a little bit green. Beautiful. Let's see if there's any new desktop uh, wallpapers. We can go here to background. And there's a few extra ones here that they've got. And as well as the old ones too from 14.04. That's quite nice. What else we got? That's a, oh, that was in the old one. This one was in 14.04. It's quite nice, looks like New Zealand. The sheep there and the mountains. Very serious. And then I've got that thing that I've got happening. What's that? Mm. I'll keep it as the default desktop just for the sake of the video, which is this one here. Now let's have a look here. In accessories. We have the standards. I think there's plank there now. What's this? Alright, so you can get the Apple-like desktop from Plank. It's quite nice. It'd be nice if I could move it. When do I do that? Okay, that's how I get this effect. If I want to add an application, is it just as simple as dragging it to Plank? So it is not. It's quite nice. I like it, but it should take away the bottom bar. Okay, what else do we have? Education, I started a mass one. Graphics. They've got the I have made image editor, uh, image viewer, sorry. Still got that. Internet. Standard Firefox and Mozilla. Transmission for Tyrant's Pigeon Internet Messenger, which I still really like. Standard office ones. Hmm, here's something I've noticed. They've taken away cheese. Now they're using G U V C Viewer View, sorry. And they've got uh, VLC there. Some sort of browser. And just the standard universal things. Let's take a look at the home folder options, shall we? It looks the same as the last one. Nothing's really different. Of course it is a little bit different in the Ubuntu Unity version, but Mate uses GNOME. They've recreated really GNOME. Another thing which I really like is the control center here. That's my duck. This control center here is very lovely. I like how it's all in one place. Beautiful. What else do we have? System preferences. Personal. Oh, look at that. They've got like it sort of graph. Um, how can I say it? Like categorized a lot better than what they did last time. In Ubuntu 14.04, they had it like 
just a sort of like a, a gnome did that was kind of there's menus everywhere but here they've got it categorized just to make life a little bit easier rather than searching for a particular thing new administration one thing i like about this too is it can you can actually see here like where the sun is and where there is no sun so i really admire that feature uh, for example i live in turkey at the moment so i'm about here which it, it is it, it's um it's getting late it's getting dark and the weather's not the greatest but where i'm from australia i can see that my family's asleep and i probably shouldn't call it this time so that's nice i really enjoy that i like that feature uh, let's have a look at some themes shall we there's a stack of themes here i like just the custom one they were using this one This one now I think, yeah. So the theme is slightly different. So I don't know if I'm a fan of these buttons. I, I kind of I'm old school and I like it like this. Yes, there's that dock. What else can you look? Now oh, look at that, you can see the items that I've got opened rather than going down here. So I'm guessing you could remove this, you could delete this panel, which then just leaves the dock. <laughs> Although I like the panel <laughs> more than the dock, just just quickly from looking at it like that. What else do we have? So yeah, that's probably just a quick look at what to expect in the new Ubuntu Mate. It's now an official flavour too, so it's endorsed, I guess, by Ubuntu. The first version was not really endorsed, 14.04 and 14.10. They were not endorsed. Um, but looking at this version, it, uh, it's now endorsed, I've seen. So it's it's quite lovely. If you are a fan of the old GNOME 2, then this is for you. If you aren't a big fan of Unity, as you can see, if I go to Unity dash dash version, it will tell me that Unity is not installed, but I can install it if I want, but I'm not going to. <laughs> That's the whole point of Mate, is to give you the old classic theme. So, yes. Anyways, thank you for watching. Let me just get out of this. I'll close it down. Save the machine. If you like this video, please comment and subscribe for more videos, and um, if Tell me what version you prefer. Do you prefer Mate? Do you like the standard Ubuntu? Do you like Kubuntu? Which is your distro? Like maybe it's uh, Linux Mint. So tell me what which one you like. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.